Hey guys, Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. It is Whip Wednesday. What am I working on? Well, I had to remake one of these little envelope flip ups uh, because the original one I made was too tall for my journal. So I went ahead and made one of those and let's just see. It should fit nicely in my journal now. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it, but yes, it fits perfectly now on a page and then it can flip up. And then, yeah, you've got a little pocket down here. You can even make this a side tuck. So yeah, I think that is really cute. I thought I would go ahead and just uh, make some more envelopes, whether it be this style or another style just because I have tons of scraps that I need to use up. Now, one thing I did make is a little envelope window template. Now, I highly recommend making one of these. It's super easy. Uh, you can just take an envelope and, you know, pop out the plastic and take a piece of paper, trace around it and cut it out and then have that as your window template. Most of the window templates that I have been, or the envelopes that I have been playing with, the window templates are the same for them. Another way you can do it is just measure the width and the height and just kind of cut out a rectangle that size. And then what I did is uh, to make my corners, I just used my large corner rounder and again, it fits perfectly over tops. And then thus uh, is what I'll use for cutting out the window portion for my covering pages if I'm not just going to um, piece them together, collage them together. So I highly recommend making one of these. It's super helpful. Um, so for this envelope, what I did, I have now I'm not done decorating it, but it is a little fold out and then this is going to be a pocket, okay? So really what I did is, let's do one together. I took this envelope and I folded it up. So just depending on what the size of your page is, like I would not want to go any higher than, uh, well, actually, let me just think about this. If we're just doing a standard page, which I'm just trying to pull out page. Okay, so this is eight and a half by 11, just folded in half. So my envelope, you know, I'm going to have to make it so that it'll fit on that page. Again, if we have smaller pages like we do for this journal, um, it'll, we just, just need to make sure that it's going to fit on there, if that makes sense. So just keep that in mind. If you have a particular journal that you want to make these for, <clears throat> just make sure you know what your height is. So uh, my typical page should be eight and a half. Yeah, about eight and a half. Um, again, I'm just gonna use scraps and stuff for this. So I'll just go up to about here and fold that. So this is now measuring uh, about six and a half. So that's all right. Just grab my bone folder. <clears throat> And I'm going to grab my little trimmer and I'm just going to straighten up this edge. So just taking just a smidgen off, really just to, well, I'll do that at about four maybe, just to clean up that edge a bit. Just like that. Then what we want to do is we're going to trim this part off to open that up and just take maybe, you know, about a quarter of an inch, an eighth of an inch off just to start. And then this should now, nope, oh, you need to open up the top as well. So let's open that up. 
and just a smidge off the top, just a small, small amount. And then this will now open up nicely like this. We're going to fold this up. And then you can have it so that it has double pockets if you want. So if you wanted two double pockets here, that's just fine. Or like I did in this one, I just cut this bottom piece off. I kind of angle that in just slightly so that it will um, fold nicely inside my pocket or inside this kind of little flap here. And then I'll glue this down to be my pocket. So this one we can leave we want to leave it? No, let's cut it off as well. Grab my scissors. So here is our fold line right here. I'm just going to cut just a little bit on the other side and angled just a titch. Like so. And then this can get cut right off. Hopefully straight, somewhat straight, like that. Okay, and then that, now we've got this, that flips open, and then we've got a little pocket in here. Okay, I mean, you can keep this to do something with. It would be, you could back a tag with it. That would be nice. All right, <clears throat> let's finish this one. So I have the front done and I want to round the corners. Let's find my corner rounder. Oh, there it is. And I'm going to use the large one. Oh, we could even have them just like this. We might have to cut a little bit off, but we could even do it like that and have a pocket this way on the page too. And I mean, we could even fold this back and have it like a flip. Yeah, there's all sorts of things that you can do with envelopes, let me tell you. So yeah, okay, this is going to be this pocket here. All right, what do we want to do? <clears throat> Let's figure out what we have for some scraps. Let's use up the, some of the pages from, oh, what is it called? All Things Roses. might be nice in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, it's going to be a little fiddly, but so I'm going to tuck this right together like this. Just like that. So it lines up on the fold like on the edge of that fold. And then I'm going to tuck my little envelope template in so that it fits exactly where I want it to be. Put that to the side. Now my pencil. Hmm, I did have one. There it is. And then now we will just trace around. like that. And there we can see that is where our envelope is going to be, or our window, sorry. And then let's just grab, this is just a pen knife, got some stuff stuck there, and maybe I need, let's use, you can definitely cut the center and then cut it around with your scissors but I'm going to try this just to see if it works. Oops. Let's try and go against the ruler there. 
And then a round edge here. Just going along that line that I traced. <clears throat> And this little pen knife thing I got off of Timu. Okay, I wanna use my ruler again for the straight portion. So there. That seems to be cutting, which is good. Now around this corner. There, I think I've got it now. Just a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. Super. And I mean, you can use this for something if you want. Yeah, we could totally use that for something. We could make labels out of it, what have you. <clears throat> okay. So this will now fit over top of this. Oh, it's a little bit big. A little bit big, but that's okay. We can definitely put something around that. Not to worry. I don't know how I got it so off. Is my template that much bigger? Oh, it might be. Yeah, might be just a skosh big, but that's okay. You get the gist of it. No window police are going to come and hunt you down if it's not exactly perfect. Yeah, we'll fix that. Not to worry. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Let's go ahead and glue this down. So hope you're all doing well and finding yourselves in your creative spaces. We're having some nicer weather, which is great, somewhat spring-like. Hoping for a little bit more rain, not necessarily snow. I'm over the snow, <laughs> but we could do with a little bit more rain. Okay. So that I need to erase just a bit. Okay, so this will go right about here. Just making sure that that can fold. It looks like I have <clears throat> some off, off of the front that I haven't trimmed off yet, so we will do that while we're here. do is it's going to glue this over top <clears throat> pardon me yeah just like that just to camouflage it a wee bit of my cutting mistake and then no one will know Yeah, that almost matches perfectly. See, you can barely tell where it is. All right. And trim that off. Okay, so now we've got the inside done of that part. And now we need our pocket. What do we want for the pocket? 
have tons of these papers left. Oop, let's see here. Got some plain. Got some of this. Let's use that. Yes, that should work just nicely. Try to measure like that. And then right about here, just try and straighten that there. And hopefully that will fit my piece. Again, if you have just scraps that you are looking to use up, definitely use those. Just collage them together. We'll do, we'll do one that's all collaged as well. <clears throat> okay, this way, this way. Just erase my pencil mark. Yes, that is perfect. My glue stick is really soft today. I suppose that's okay. It seems to be spreading nicely. Just like that. I'm not worried that it's hanging over. That is just fine. And then I think I want to put in a little notch there. If I can find, there it is. <clears throat> just use this one. Maybe about right there. And we'll ink it up. Now I suppose I should have inked this as well, but that's okay. We'll just fudge it a bit here. And then I'll just take this and clean off the ink from the window. There. I mean, we could also fold it back on itself as well and have the pocket here and then turn it over and have a pocket here and then just clip it in. I mean, that would work too, but I'm gonna have this down on a page and then I think I'm gonna have a pocket back here Yes, I think, I think that's what we will do. <clears throat> Just gonna grab a drink here. Oh my goodness, my throat still has a bit of a frog in it, shall we say. <clears throat> okay. Let's ink this up. Yeah, these are really great to have on hand, especially if you, you know, just make the bases of them quite neutral. Then you can decorate them for any journal that you are potentially working on. So they're just kind of ready to go, which is nice. Okay. Alrighty, Roo, let's get this glued. Actually, we need something for the back. 
pardon me. Um, what do we want for that back? I feel like we've got pink de pink 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 all things pink I think I want to put lace or something around here to camouflage that much like what I did with here I just put a piece of decorative kind of trim on there and then just put a little bow where they joined I think that's cute I like it so do we want to just use plain pink? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, let's just use that. And then we can have it ready for whatever pink journal we need, right? Okay, let's grab my trimmer. I think my daughter was using it. She's been making cards <clears throat> which i love i love when my kids hang out in here with me and get creative much better than spending their time on face first in a digital device right that's my theory anyways okay And take this off. Alrighty, let's go ahead. And mark this. Now it doesn't have to go all the way down to the bottom, but I think I will I will make it do so make it so you guys can see as well okay so we're going to cut it about there and is it the same yeah sorry just trying to see if the edge is the same as where the pocket is and it is so we'll just cut it here this is my crude way of measuring it could be an easier way but now I've lost the lid to my glue well oh well oh here it is let's probably put that on there just in case so i got lots of things going on on my desk here okay so we want this cut here right like that okay and there's my other mark right there okay got a little scrap we'll tuck that away bigger piece over yonder and now we are good to glue this bad boy down grab our glue again now if you wanted you definitely could do some sewing just to step it up a little bit more you like that stitched look let's put that there all right i think we are good A little bit close to the fold there but I think it'll be all right and let's trim 
Is it a large one? I think it is. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That piece needs to be glued just a little bit better. And then we will glue our pocket. Just like this. There we go. And let's ink up. Now, <clears throat> pardon me. Well, you can put a label here. You can do some stamping, put a fussy cut, decorate however you want. I am just going to leave this because I'm not sure what journal this is going to go in. I know I've got kind of the all things roses about it, but I think I have enough pockets for my all things roses journal right now. So I don't think I need this one. So I'll just kind of leave it as is. Let's go ahead and ink this up as well. Just like this. All right, there we go. So we can do some decorating there. We can decorate around here. That will flip open. You can have some decorating here. You can decorate on the pocket, decorate here. This is a nice little pocket. And I just wanna glue that down a little bit better right there. <clears throat> and then you can also glue it on the page. So if we have it like, say like this, you can have it where this is a pocket back here. So you can glue along here, or you can glue here, here and here. And then this is also a tuck back there, right? I think that is cute. And then if you don't like the look of the pocket showing through, grab something like, I don't know where my fussy cuts are, but you could definitely, what is this? Have something. Like if you wanted to put that on there to kind of camouflage that. You know, you'll see it on this side, but you won't see the pocket through. Or I mean, just mimic it on the other side with whatever you do, right? And then you won't see the back of this. However, however you want to do it, it doesn't really bother me that I can see the pocket. I think that's kind of cute actually. And then yeah, you'll have your tag or what have you in there. So there, we got one done. I'm not decorating the back. If you want to just have it as a, like a clip-in or a tip-in, you'll want to decorate the back as well. I am not going to because I'll likely just glue it down to a page. All right, so there is one done. <clears throat> Let us move on to something a little more neutral. Let's do another one. I have all sorts of pieces here that I printed out a while ago from the Junk Journal Studio. I think this is part of the Essentials Kit or something. But we can definitely use some of these. What else do I have here? Oh, I got a ton of stuff. Yeah, I'm sure this is all from the essentials kit. A little time card, postcard, library cards. It's just a blank piece. It's like a dictionary. Got some labels. Lots of fun labels. 
with some old ledger paper. Those might be fun to play with. Actually, I like these. Let's do these. Just going to grab these ones here. Ooh, music paper would also be nice. Okay. Let's get all this stuff tucked back away. Over there. Hopefully I won't have a craft lunch. All right, let's go ahead and do this guy. <clears throat> kind of like that. Let's just cut that down and use this. Beautiful thing about digitals is you can always reprint them. So you don't have that necessarily that feeling of, oh no, I'm going to use it on this and I don't know if I want to use it on this. It doesn't matter. You can reprint it for your next project that you want to use it on. Okay, let's just cut this. Just like this for now. Tuck that in like that. Grab my little template. Let's see. Yeah, I might cut my template down just a wee bit. Let's do maybe here. Does that fit a bit better? I think we'll trim it down just a little bit on this side as well. That fit right in there. I think we can take off just a smidge more. We will re-round the corners. Yes, that is better. That is a better fit. Okay. So tuck this in. Like this. Yeah, that's about close enough. Pencil. Just do some rough tracing. And cut it all over again. Maybe like that. Whoops. Let's try that again. And here to okay, here. Whoops, and then we'll go up. that work? Sort of. Maybe uh, this I will just, I will just do it the easy way. Just do it like this. Fussy cut it this way. It'll be easier. <laughs> a 
got to concentrate doing this. There we go. And we'll just erase any of our pencil lines that might be showing. the end all be all because I'm also going to ink and I'm just going to use this mat keep stabbing myself with that really long ruler so it's time that it gets put away and let's just use this brush There we go. Cool. So now this will go over top like that, and then I can trim it down. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I keep forgetting to put the pin in my glue. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous thing to do. Okay, glue. Just like this. I think that's good enough coverage. goes on there. The nice thing about these kind of craft or brown envelopes is they're very forgiving if you're using neutral colors, if you didn't cut quite perfectly. There. And now we'll just go ahead and um, actually what we can do is let's just cut it like this. Kind of miter the corners, and maybe we will fold this up. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. And then same thing over here. We'll just wrap that around. Okay. There is that. And I think I will just um got some of this. I think I'm just going to rip and collage. Let's just do some ripping and collaging on the inside. So we'll take this, like this. <clears throat> Just to rip these white edges off. For now. And like that. And now I can rip it right about. Just trying to find where that window starts and stops. Maybe about there. Is that about right? Uh, 
Okay, that'll do. Go ahead and glue that piece down. Not an exact science. I mean, you can make it as perfect as you want. I'm just going with the flow today. So line that up about there and there. Okay. I think I want that down there. Yeah, let's do that. Right about there. Just stuck my chi ruler in my ink. That's always a good time, isn't it? Okay. like that. Now we need this piece up like this. It's just a little shy, but I think we'll be okay. Probably should have inked the edges too, but I didn't think of that quick enough, did I? Not the end of the world. Again, you don't always have to ink. It's just a personal preference thing. Just like that. Martin Street? Yes, I want that there. Oopsies. S now I've got to stuck that in the glue. Stuck it in the ink and I've stuck it in the glue. Where else am I going to end up sticking it, I tell you? Okay, yeah, maybe about here. Let's go down a little bit more. There we go. There. Now we can see the white back here. That is just fine. Not a big deal. Like I said, I'll put something around here just to frame that out. That's probably why it might be a little easier even just to collage it around <clears throat> if you don't want that showing. But it is not bugging me. I will end up fixing it. <clears throat> Got this piece rolling up on me. Okay. So that is too short. Let's use one of these. Try to move my glue out of the way so I'm not sticking stuff in it again. Yeah, neutral papers are awesome because if you don't really know what you want to create, you want to create something, just do like bases and then do them with these neutral type papers and then you can add whatever to them for that theme. like this. Okay. Now I want this to go about here. Uh, 
I am not going to make it go all the way down like I did on the other one. Because I want to see if I can save enough to actually have this cover this part here. So let's try ripping it about there. And... Do that like that. This is very precise measurement, you guys. Right like that. Throw that in my little itty bitty box. And glue this down. Maybe take another drink. Oh, that is good. Love me some ginger ale when I'm not feeling the greatest. <clears throat> I'm getting better though. Slowly but surely, I didn't need a nap yet today. What time is it? Ooh, it's almost nap time. <laughs> it's three in the, almost three in the afternoon for me. So almost nap time. I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist napping, although naps are very good. Oh, did I cut that a little wonky? I did. That's okay. There we go. And then this piece, oh, it's just a little short. Not to worry. Not to worry at all. I will another strip of something there. We'll make it work. Whew, gotta turn my heater off. It's getting warm in here. Let's shut that bad boy off. There we go. Okay, well, we'll get two of these done, but likely that'll be it. But you guys get the idea. I mean, once you see one, then you kind of know how the rest of it goes, right? Um, let's put that, try and want to line those vertical lines up so they kind of match. But I am going to put a little notch in there as well. Okay. Trim this guy off. That's another itty bitty piece that I can play with another day. And then I'll just trim this. Like that. Okay, and then this. I'm just going to cut this along this line. Yep, and we'll just glue that on the bottom. Okay. There we go. Sweet. Okay, let's get our little thumb notch in here. <clears throat> right about there. Some ink. And then this one is ready to decorate. I feel like this one could be almost botanical or with like butterflies or something. I think that might look nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I think this one might 
do another, a little notch up here as well. Do I want to? Let's try and line that up maybe about like that. And grab my pencil. This is me trying to get them lined up. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. And then right about here, like that. Ooh, I think I did okay. There. Ooh, we've got some motivation. We haven't had motivation for a while. What is our motivation for today? Buckle up. We're chasing dreams today, and this train won't stop till we get there. Yay! <laughs> I like that sort of train. This kind of reminds me of Ozzy Osbourne's crazy train, though. All right. Need to do a little bit of fixing with this envelope as that flap is kind of coming up, but that's easily fixable like that. And then just need to ink. Yeah. Glue that pocket down. And I think I have some trim. You know what would also look good on here is some faux vintage tape. Let's play with some of that. <clears throat> okay, let's glue this pocket down. Like this. Okay. I have, so this is my faux vintage tape. This is just done with um, alcohol inks and clear uh, label, clear labels. Oh, pardon me. And I like to cut it with some pinking shears, not my craft or not my fabric ones, but just my. I always mix up which ones are which. <laughs> what do I have? What do I have? I think these are. I think these are the paper ones. I really hope so. Because I'm using them. Okay. So let's just take a thin piece, be about this big, cut it like that, and then cut it like this. So yeah, this is just, like I said, um, clear label, clear labels and uh, what is it, amber, fo fossilized amber. Um, alcohol inks and then I just use a sponge and streak it across and magically looks like old tape. There we go and I have trust issues so I'm going to add a little bit of glue and it's funny because that alcohol ink reacts to the label and it f almost feels like brittle old tape as well. I think I'm just going to put this right here Yeah, I like that. I think that looks cool. Okay, now we need something to go around here. Let's decorate this one maybe. Let's just take some time and decorate that. So I need something to go around. I have this trim, ooh, which could look nice.
Will that work? It's a little hard going around the curves with this type of stuff. So I might need something a bit smaller. Ooh, let's do actually, <clears throat> I think I'll just do some twine again. What do I have? Some kind of like baker's twine stuff, but I'm actually thinking, yeah, I think I'll just use this stuff. Will that work? Yes. I think that will work just fine. Um, got a bit of a mess going on here. Let's go ahead and use some Fabri-Tac for this. that along there. We'll stick the twine on. My Fabri-Tac has gas. <laughs> it's letting out a weird noise. Okay. That along there. Just a way to camouflage that paper that's showing through and give it a little more interest and texture. Come on. Might need to purchase some more Fabri-Tac. Yeah, I didn't realize I was getting that low. Come on, just need enough to finish this. There we go. Just gonna talk nicely to it. Or threaten it, come on you. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that's enough. Let's push you about there. Okay, kind of holding my breath here. And get our smaller scissors. Is that gonna cut? Come on, cut for me. There we go. Let's just move that back out of the way. Okay. There we go. So there. We've got the little rope around that. That kind of looks cool. Open it up. I like that. I like the vintage tape there. Might actually put some more on here. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and do some more decorating. Like I said, I feel like I want, that's the wrong glue topper. That goes in there. This goes over here. Kind of feeling like butterflies or a butterfly. I feel like an orange monarch would be nice. I could also do some rub-ons too, but Alas, that's not what I'm feeling. <clears throat> Butterflies, where are you? All the way on the bottom box. Let's see what we have. This one has some orange ones in it. I could put that like this. And that'll cover up the join of, of the uh, twine. 
kind of like that. Okay, but we need some sort of label. Um, kind of thinking. Kind of thinking of that label, but I want it on this. Let's just use this. And hmm, do we want it in black? I feel like maybe yes, we do. Let's use this one. I kind of want to keep that. I don't know why, but I want to cut it out and keep it. So I'm going to stamp up here, just like this. If it doesn't look good, we can always use this for something else. There we go. Put that back on. And let's actually tear that with our tear ruler. <clears throat> hmm, not really sure where my metal one... Oh, there it is. That's the one I want. Like that. Like that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe like this. And there. Okay, save that. Yay. Not really sure what I'm going to use it for, but um, do, 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 ink. Okay, we've gone over our hour, but I feel like I want to get this one done. We like that. Yeah, I think it's okay. Go ahead and just glue it down. Let's put that like this. that on there like that. Okay. Just like that. Now, need some tape. And I have just the perfect tiny little piece. Right here. Come on you. And my glue stick. Where did my glue stick go? Oh, did you fall? You fell. Okay. Just like that. Okay, let's take a look at what we made. I mean, it wasn't a ton, but I mean, you guys get the idea of it. And all the different things that you can use, labels, and I might add something else on here. <clears throat> might add a floral or something on here decorate that up but these have been fun where is my other one this one so
so there you guys go those are just some kind of fun ideas of what you can do with envelopes making little pockets with them this one will be ready to go to decorate for whatever journal i choose and then actually you know what <clears throat> pardon me i can't help myself i just can't help myself i saw these and now i'm thinking i want to try one let's try one together try those. I just can't help myself. Do we want it on there? Or do we want it on here? No, on here. Just like that. I'm not really sure how it'll look, but let's give it a go. Okay, right about, could do it kind of hanging off so that it covers the back of that as well. Let's give it a go, Let's see if it works. I'm just not sure with this kind of cellophane type stuff if it'll stick, but we'll, we're about to find out. Okay. Hopefully I've got it all. This is always the nerve wracking part, peeling it up, right? Just hoping that you've got, got it all down. Okay, tweezers. Ooh, I like it. Oh, see, that's cute. Love it. Glad I did it. See? How cute is that? And it's just like a little pocket ready to go. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I wish you a magnificent rest of the week. I'll see you on the next video. And P.S. I love you.